Welcome students. Today we are discuss about the topic bus organization of 8085 microprocessor as well as pin diagram of 8085 microprocessor. So, student will be able to learn the following objectives from this lecture bus organization of 8085 microprocessor and pin diagram of 8085 microprocessor. The bus organization block diagram as shown in block diagram there are three types of bus in 8085 address bus data bus and control bus now we are discuss in detail of all the buses the microprocessor interface with the memory and other input output device the microprocessor interface with three types of buses namely data bus address bus and control bus data bus it is a bidirectional bus which allow the transfer of the data between the microprocessor and memory or peripheral device the size of data bus is 8 bit address bus it is a unidirectional bus which is carry the 16 bit of memory location or port address of peripheral device the address bus is also determine the total amount of memory interface with microprocessor in case of 8085 the size of address bus is 16 bit so 2 raised to 16 is equal to 64 kilobytes so 8085 microprocessor interface up to 64 kilobyte memory control bus it is consists the various signal lines that synchronizations signals which act as a handshake signals between the microprocessor and peripheral device the microprocessor send the necessary signal to activate the memory and the memory device in order to read and write the data now we discuss about the pin diagram of 8085 so 8085 microprocessor is consist total 40 pins as shown in figure okay so now we are discuss okay uh, one by one uh, pin so first of all the address bus so a15 to a18 it it is carry the most significant 8 8 bit of the memory io address and ad7 to ad0 is a nothing but uh, lower order address bus and data bus are multiplexed to each other okay. now control bus and status signals so rd is a read read pin so this is the active low signal indicates that the selected io and memory device is to be read and is ready for the accepting the data available on data bus right pin this is the also active low pin okay and active low signals indicates that the data on the data bus is to be return return into the selected memory or io location ale pin so the full form of the ale is address latch enable and it is basically it is used to demultiplex our address bus and data bus so it is a positive going pulse is generated and when the new operation is started by the microprocessor when the pulse is going high it indicates that the address bus is coming into picture and when it is become low that time the data bus is coming into picture so basically the ALE pin is used to demultiplex our address bus as well as data bus io bar so this signal is used to differentiate the between io and memory operation when it is high so my microprocessor is perform the io operation and when it is low it is indicates that memory operation is performed s1 and s0 so s1 and s0 is a nothing but status signal so this signal are used to identify the types of current operations so as shown in table okay io bar s1 and s2 so when the value is 0 0 1 so the memory write operation is performed 0 1 0 memory read operation perform 1 0 1 io write operation is perform 1 1 0 io read operation is perform 0 1 1 means opcode fetch cycle is perform and 1 1 1 interrupt acknowledgement okay and the don't care conditions i mean 0 0 the hold power supply okay there are two power supply signal are there vcc and vss vcc means plus 5 volt power supply is required to operate the microprocessor and vss is indicates that ground pin okay so we give the ground pin at pin number 20 and the vcc pin is the pin number 40 now clock signals so pin number 1 and 2 so x1 and x2 
is basically both are input pin and it is used to connect the external crystal oscillator with 805 so within this two pin okay microprocessor is uh, i mean the clock is provided to the microprocessor so external crystal oscillator is connected with the th this two pin a crystal is connected at this two pin and used to set the frequency of the internal clock generator this frequency is internally divided okay so as shown in figure see this okay the crystal oscillator is connected is 16.14 megahertz okay and when the microprocessor operating frequency of the microprocessor is nothing but one half of the crystal frequency clock out this signal is used as a system clock okay for device connected with microprocessor it is also called the global clock okay so uh, all the peripheral device is working with the same clock of microprocessor interrupt acknowledgement so the it is a interrupt acknowledgement signal okay it is basically it is used to give the acknowledgement to the device now ready pin this signal is indicates that the device is ready to send or receive the data if ready is low then the cpu has wait for ready to go high basically ready pin is basically used for to synchronize the slower peripheral device as compared to microprocessor reset in this signal is used to reset the microprocessor by setting the program counter to zero and reset out this signal is used to reset all the connected device when the microprocessor is reset okay as shown in figure the reset in is an input pin and reset out is the output pin okay so whenever the microprocessor is going to be reset okay it is informed to all the peripheral device the microprocessor is going to be reset through the reset output pin okay. hold pin so this signal is indicates that another master is requesting to use of the address bus and data bus okay and hlda hold acknowledgement it is indicates that the cpu has received the hold request and it will okay request the bus in the next clock cycle hlda is set to the low after the hold signal is removed so basically these two pin are used whenever the our dma controller are interface with the 805 okay that time okay uh, these two pin are used to uh, grant the request of the our address bus and data bus okay of 8085 microprocessor serial io signals there are two serial io signal are there sid and sod serial input data and sod is a nothing but serial output data so these two pin are basically used for the serial communication with the our microprocessor so sod pin the is used to set and reset by the specific instruction the same instruction are used okay set set interrupt mask instruction are used and sid is serial input data the data on this line is loaded into the accumulator whenever the rim read interrupt mask instruction are used to execute the sid pin okay 